Hey guys, so today uh, we're going to solve uh, this particular exercise in WebGoat 8, which is exploiting uh, the extreme vulnerability wherein uh, this particular function actually reads uh, any object that you give them when you send an XML for deserialization. And uh, to understand this vulnerability better, there's this uh, link that has been given, which is also a clue to what we are supposed to do. Because uh, there isn't anything, uh, any clue that is being given or any hint that is being given so as to what we're supposed to do with this, uh, with this particular link. So let me first uh, show you the link. So as you can see that uh, now the POC that this person has done, POC is basically just a proof of concept to prove a certain point. And uh, he has sent this payload which uh, has a sorted set class, which uh, has... Uh, uh, these classes at its, its uh, components, which is all in the form of an XML. So the POC basically shows that, uh, uh, you know, the class is loaded first, and then after that, the exception is raised. So the deserialization happens first, and then the exception is raised. So uh, in this exercise, we're supposed to send uh, uh, a payload that uh, the WebGoat server is supposed to read and then you'll pass the test. And uh, I, I, I'm going to show you one thing, uh, that any payload that you send this, uh, uh, the extreme uh, library is going to read it first and then uh, cast the exception. So uh, it actually wasn't clear to me as well what we're supposed to do in this vulnerability. So I went inside the WebGoat jar and as you can see, this is uh, this is the function that is called uh, the attack one. This is this is a jar inside the WebGoat war, which is vulnerable components. Now WebGoat has designed all this uh, all their lessons in a way that uh, every single lesson has its own uh, library, its own jar, so to speak. So in this particular jar, the success is triggered when the exception contains the message integer. So uh, we're supposed to send and uh, an XML in which the integer class is there. So let me just uh, write the payload here. So this is uh, this is going to be a payload. Uh, I'm going to you know send an integer to this particular file, which is going to be a Java dot lang dot integer file. Uh, so let's just say it's 67, and I just hope the intercept isn't on. Okay, the int intercept is off, and I'm not sure what's happening right now. I hope everything is fine. Maybe the formatting is not correct. Up oh, there it is. So as you can see, the uh, uh, the this exercise has been solved. Uh, the tick mark is there, which means that the lesson is completed, and this is how you solve this particular lesson. I know that it's a bit vague and I think uh, that Web WebGoat uh, should be reported for it, but uh, then again, there are a lot of vulnerabilities. Uh, uh, there, are, there are a lot of lessons in this uh, application which are pretty vague. So this is just one of them. I hope uh, uh, this video helped a lot of you guys. Uh, do read the blog, uh, uh, blog uh, link that has been provided in the previous slide, which is the Dennis Cruz blog, which actually explains the extreme vulnerability. It's pretty interesting. Uh, like uh, how deserialization can actually lead to uh, how a deserialization vulnerability can actually lead to remote code execution. So do check it out. All right, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, like, uh, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.